Well, I guess I scraped my knee on something pretty good in the process there. Well, good morning. Hello and how, how do you do? How do you do? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? What's up, guys? We're going to do some things today. I need to return this camera. My vlog camera because it's broken. It's broken. Do you remember? It's broken. It's broken. It's going in a box. There it goes. Bye bye, camera. Get better. And Hillary. Hillary's not feeling too good either. What's the matter, Hillary? It's all your fault. It's all my fault? <laughs> Look, they got plenty of newsprint on hand, eh? You guys, uh, you guys remember this from yesterday? Of course you remember this from yesterday. This is Stacy's attempt at printing out that 3D snake skeleton. He's gonna work on it again because this one didn't quite come up to par, but Still, th this is by far the most detailed thing he tried to do before. Before he was making like little plates and little junction boxes, nothing nearly this intricate. So, you know, he had scaled down the quality just to try and get the time. I don't know what, but, but look at it. Take a look. Take a look at how it came out. This is the first draft. So what do you, what do you think? Not too bad for a first attempt at trying to uh, 3D print a snake skeleton, you think? I'll wait till we get the actual one done with the skull and everything. I think it's gonna look sweet. What's up, Noah? Daddy. What's up? I'm a... I what? know. Heart rocks. Heart rocks? What about heart rocks? That they're a heart shape. It's a rock that's a heart shape? Yeah. Anything else special about it? Well, that it looks shiny if you clean it with soap and water. Uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna go drop off this camera, and the other thing we're gonna do today is feed a couple baby snakes. We're also going to work on the enclosures a little bit and try and get some platforms and some more of those retic tanks. More, more retic enclosure enhancement. Um. Got a receipt. Hopefully it gets there without any issues and we get our camera back and only have to pay for shipping. I guess I scraped my knee on something pretty good in the process there. I don't know what the heck I did. It doesn't hurt, I just scraped it. 
It's probably gonna hurt tomorrow at work when I'm kneeling on stuff. Blood. So, what do you guys think of my handiwork? Uh, pretty decent. Now we got a little shelf. Now the idea here is to give them four different temperature gradients versus the two temperature gradient where you got hot side, cool side. Now you've got hot side, cool side, and then a little warmer than cool side because you can go the low side of the cool side or the high side now on the upper part where it's going to be a little bit warmer than the coolest spot. And now I've got them big enough tubs where they can soak in if they want to so they can get really cool, medium cool, not so cool, hot, you know, you get the idea. Four different temperature spots for them. Basically what I just did, I, I made some supports so I could support the little platform while I screwed it into the back and on the side. And so it's being supported on the back, on the side, and then I put the two little posts to support the front corner and in the middle in the front. And the posts are one inch PVC that I reinforced by shoving a one inch wooden dowel inside so it's not just a flexible piece of PVC tube. And then uh, I just saw at the end there, I, I sealed the little crack with my cock. And um, the thing about this stuff is that it's kind of messy. They make these little condoms that you put over your cock. But I, I just, I th they just don't work the way they're intended to. So I like to just screw it when I'm done. This usually works a lot better for the cock. So you gotta be careful. I, I got it all over my pants here. You can see these pants are basically ruined now. Um, but yeah. So the bottom line is, uh, when you're putting your cock in the crack, just be careful because it can get a little messy. Any questions? I gotta go clean up my tools. You gotta put it in and then pull it out. You gotta pull it out while it's underwater. You gotta put it underwater and pull it out. There you go. Aha! Oh, man. I just woke back up guys, let me tell you what, after putting those tools away, I just got tired and ate some cheesecake and dinner with the fam and just knocked out. <sighs> I mean, I, I worked hard today, it was physical, physical, physical work today and then I got home and did the cage stuff and just, man, just beat. I did do some push-ups yesterday finally for the first time, push-ups, like real push-ups, did like a hundred push-ups and I feel a little sore today, but not like in the bad type of sore, you know, like good sore, like good sore but I'm tired. I had this weird dream for like half a second. I think I, I was asleep for like 15 minutes, you know, it was like a quick power cat nap. But the dream, uh, there was only one moment in the dream I remember, and it was I was shot putting an alligator, just like shot put alligator flying across the field. I'm like, what is that about? Do you guys know dreams out there? What does it mean when you shot put an alligator in your dream? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Whoa. It's time to feed some snakes before we go off to Betty Bye. Not very many. Just got four rats here, a couple of pups, a weaned and a small. Just feeding the holdback number one, Mr. Pink, and holdback number two, Cindy. Feeding her and him. And then feeding the brand new Orange Glow Motley Retic male and the carpet python that I got from Carpet Fest. Just four snakes to feed tonight. Easy night. Easy night. You guys wanna, you guys wanna do it with me?
Hi hey guys, that's four for four. You guys take care of yourselves, all right? I'll see you tomorrow.